So uh, one of the most common questions we get is, and, and overall an insignificant one, but there is an answer to it, is which way should the plates go on, okay? Uh, if you are dealing with iron plates, this question is actually relevant. If you're dealing with bumper plates, it usually isn't. With iron plates, you generally have a flat side, a smooth side, and then you have a side with all the lettering and the pounds and the kilos, and then the most important aspect of the plate, the rim. The rim is there for your fingers. Now this doesn't matter for something like a 2.5 because it's not heavy, okay? But when you grab 45 pound plates, it's extremely easy to hold by the rim with your fingers versus, uh, versus with just your thumb where your fingers actually don't do anything, okay? So therefore the plate should be carried like this and it should be put on the bar with the letters facing in because you're planning for the future. And the future has this coming off in a certain way which your fingers can wrap around the rim and pull it off without you dropping it on your toe, okay? And then you can actually put this in the weight tree in a beneficial uh, manner for the next person to grab. And I'm gonna show you that right now. When you put the weight in the weight tree, you should put it with the letters facing out. That way, when the next person comes to grab the plates, they actually have something to grab onto to help get it out of the tree. And then they're in the easiest scenario that you've created for them, versus had you done this. So, there is a way to put plates on, and though it really doesn't matter, for iron, there is a nice, safe, optimal situation that you can provide for you and the person coming up uh, to grab the plates next.